Alrighty, welcome back to Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. I took a little bit of a break because I was starting to get pretty hungry. I hadn't had lunch. But we are going to continue checking out this place. To see if we can find... Oh god, my eyes. <laughs> to see if we can get anything to steal or obtain. There was a lot of stuff going on in these buildings. I should just go through the window. But hacking XP, I love it. It's only security rating two. It's easy peasy. We got this. Anomaly detected. Trace okay, I initiated. take back what I was saying. It actually might take me a while. Can you do it? Yeah. Denied. Oh man. Do cops come over here for that? Because there's still some people. Oh wait, those aren't cops. Uh-oh. What's going on over on the other side? I kind of want to go check that out. But first, we're going to go over here. Okay. Is this guy super suspicious? Security engineering. Building the foundation. The augmented approach. Oh. Security specialist. That definitely means there's stuff for me to steal in here. I'm really amused that... The software stuff are fucking massive. Like the software disk things are huge. Bigger than floppy disk or just hard drives in general. And that's, I feel, mostly because of uh, for the player. So we can see them easier when we're looking around and scavenging stuff. But it's just really amusing. Like it's supposed to be software and you have this massive, massive thing. That's totally not inconspicuous. Usually you want things to be pretty small. Oh, there's no way to get in from the uh, the window. Okay, well, you know, that means I can go to the front and see what's going on here. Hi. Oyomo. You interested in some merchandise? Ah, see, all right. You want the guy standing over by the laptop. My employer is a little bit strange, but his prices are reasonable. So this is the guy, these are the guys who sell things. Got you. We will be watching the UN closely for any break in the story. This is a lawful Come okay. on in. Weapons for sale. Hello, laptop man. <laughs> you have credits? Usually you people with the robot arms and legs have no credits. No, you got a real way with people. What's on the menu? Menu? <laughs> no, 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 not food. Guns and things. You want? Man, you naturals. <laughs> you have really slow brains. The menu. There's no food. What are you talking about? It's a saying, man. Alright, what do we even have? He has a silencer. Ooh, that's good. Silencer and then a ton of different guns, including an actual sniper rifle. If I want to kill people from a long distance. Nice. I don't know if I want anything from this guy at the moment. I could sell some things, right? Let's see. What do I got? I wanted to sell the combat rifle and tactical shotgun. So, that'll save me some time. <laughs> I don't have to sit there and walk back. Oh, God, thank God. I'll keep the grenade launcher frag grenades because if I ever decide to use the grenades at least I'll have a whole bunch of them I'm sure these aren't really easy to come by or fucking cheap to buy in the first place whereas with the combat rifle and the tactical shotgun dude everybody has a combat rifle or tactical shotgun in this area it's ridiculous if I wanted a gun I could just steal it from somebody except for the sniper rifles because we haven't really seen that much yet but I wonder if I should get the silencer I think I will for the pistol Obviously, I would like it for other things as well. Huh. You have taste for a yobok. <laughs> I'm surprised. A yobok? Okay. Maybe later. For now. I like the sound of that. Okay. But I want to slap a silencer onto this gun. So that way... Whenever I do have to use EMP bullets... Which is the primary use that I want to have for this... I don't have to worry about it 
like attracting too much attention. Although with that said, it might still attract attention because I don't know what happens when you shoot out electronics. Come on. I shall do anyone. Even crazy you, you so for all I know, I could shoot an EMP bullet at a security camera or something and ho oh, ho, everybody's panicking. We have orders to fail. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. Da. Tell them we can maybe get some Ryzen into the next one. That will keep them satisfied. You Fine. want to do business? This is going He's the one you want. Can't help get you. Yuri now get out of my now face. Okay, here. I'll get out of your face and then I'll we move into sure everything else. Actually, hold up. This room isn't restricted. Oh, it's just a bedroom. Shut up. <laughs> In the hands of irresponsible journalists. You are an irresponsible journalist. You're just really well designed. Irresponsible. Journalist. The hardware has been dropped off in your storage. 4227. Have fun making money. Luca will be in touch at the usual time to pick up our cut. Ooh, they have a safe? Is it in the bathroom? It's usually in the bathroom. Actually, I guess I shouldn't say that. This is actually the first safe in a bathroom, so I don't know where I'm making that statement from. I guess what I really want to say is, it's usually off to the side, not directly with everybody. That keeps it safe. Oh, jeez. You don't have a lot of horizontal momentum. It's really risky to make those jumps. Isn't this 302? It is. I could have sworn we heard something about 302 in the past. It says something about apartment 302. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there you go. There's another big giant software thing. Once I get myself fully upgraded with all my hacks, I won't even need all those things. Okay. Oh, shit. Do I have any Praxis? <laughs> because I could disable the laser. Oh, gosh. I just need one Praxis. Do I not have anything in storage? Crap. Well, um, I guess I'm not getting the safe just yet. I need the ability to turn off lasers. Which I currently don't have. But I'm sure I'll get it sometime. Alright, turn on all this all these sinks. This particular house makes or this particular apartment makes me depressed. It's got like nothing. He doesn't even- he has a little sleeping bag! Uh, that's like college living right there. I don't have money, but I have an apartment and I need to sleep, so boom, there we go. Is this a place I've been in? Probably. I've kind of been working my way upwards. I can make a final check. You know what, we didn't really fully explore that apartment that called in for help. I want to kind of see if there's anything in there that I missed. Surely the cops are gone now. Human presence detected. Oh, jeez. Engaging smart home system. The cops aren't there anymore. I just wish there was a way to turn off the AI. Human presence detected. Engaging smart home. All right, we know there's a dead body up here. Smart system. Did I miss engaged. anything like a Scanning bio Pocket secretary or anything like that? Unauthorized presence confirmed. Intruder protocols engaged. You are not the Shit. authorized home. Hold up, I need to use a bio cell. Because if I have to duck out through the window, that might be preferable. Hey, nice. Please vacate the premises. Okay, I am vacating the premises. <laughs> oh, did they call the cops? They called the cops just as I was leaving. That's funny. Well, I guess I'm not gonna find anything just yet. Hello, officers. Just an og walking through. It's time for a walk. You look like trouble. 
We will be keeping an eye on you. <laughs> uh, so much for keeping an eye on me. You got the captain running you raw as well? Understood. Understood? That's not even a real response. Yeah, let's just nod our head towards the door. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Talk to the door like that. They're not going in. Maybe because I'm looking at them? Maybe they're supposed to wait and then open the door, but because the door is actually open, he doesn't care. Alright. Oh, uh, no, this is another window into there. Nice. So I guess I've pretty much found everything there is to find in this particular place, minus hacking those and whatever else might be inside this building. There has to be a reason that this is locked off, you know? Minus the dead body! Oh, I just fell three stories and didn't die. I'm not prejudiced. Uh-huh. I just have very strong opinions based on personal experience. Yeah, okay. Maybe everybody should say that. I have very strong opinions because I got hit in the face by an augmented human. And that really sucked. And I go, yeah. Yeah, that would suck. Two, nine, one, three. I have the code. Might as well use it sometimes. Access granted also. Okay, yeah, you know, thinking about it. When you just have the code, you still get a little bit of XP anyways. Nice. What do we got here? Evan Pribble. Uh... Apartment 201, door lock 6864. Oh. Yay. I've got the code for the apartment. Why does he just have a... Okay, you know, maybe I shouldn't be super suspicious of, like, the baseball. It's just odd. Alright. Meanwhile, in the other locker, we have combat rifle ammo and revolver ammo. Now this is suspicious again. <laughs> I love the people that store weapons and things inside these lockers. Like, no one's gonna ever open it up and find out, Oh, hey, you're storing weapons and stuff, dude. Maybe I should report you to the cops. But I can't report anyone to the cops. Especially because technically I broke into places illegally. Where the hell am I? Oh. Ooh. We're in that top apartment area. Interesting. It's not safe. So I just used the code. Stick around. I'd be happy to kill. Oh shit. What? How'd they hear me? I was crouching. They're even throwing grenades and shit! What the fuck? Oh god, how'd I get in here? It wasn't through there. I just kinda hopped out through the bathroom. There has to be like a door to, to fucking bio cell. Did that turn off the laser? No. What the fuck? Why would I want to come up here then? You know what? I'm closing the door. I think the cops are coming up here. They're not too happy. They don't like when people just break out into firing. I'm really lost. Okay, let me reload real quick. <laughs> I had a- my mental mapping of how I got into the room was completely fucked with at, when I suddenly was being attacked. And I don't like that. Alright. So... We come out here, we get some tranquilizer rifle ammo. There's pretty much nothing else in this room. Oh, wait, we got another weapon cabinet. Ooh. Okay, I missed out all on that stuff. Ah, that's what fucked with me. There's a door here, a secret door here. <laughs> okay. And so if I use the bio cell, that allows me to open the door at will. Stick around. I'd be happy to kill you. Oh boy. 
I don't know if they're hearing me or if like the door fucking brings them to me. Hold up, don't have enough energy just yet to knock you out. Okay. Ooh, thanks for the painkillers and uh, pistol ammo. I might never use the pistol ammo, but at least I've got the option. I probably shouldn't do this. They might not be happy that one of their bodyguards just randomly disappeared when he ran into the bathroom. But I want to explore all of my available options. That's quite a look. Are the cops still just chilling out there? You little bastards. They're just glitched out. Hey guys. Can I still purchase from you? Uh, let's make this fast, huh? Let's all get home to our girlfriends. Or radiators. <laughs> Have a look. Wow, you're so clever. Yeah, you know what? You're so no. clever, I decide to leave. Goodbye. Come all right. on. I sell to anyone. Even crazy you, your book. Hello. There's a huge apartment over on the other side. I want to go over there. Is that the... no? That's Laborio's place. Did we ever go upstairs in the Laborio's place? I don't think so. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that slightly worked. <laughs> oh, the cops are gonna kill me, man. Are you finally gonna go inside? No. That guy noticed me breaking in, though. So I'm happy that AI exists. The AI that can, can say, Oh, hey, don't go through that window. That's illegal. Engaging smart home system. Is there a computer I can access? Here we go. Okay, maybe if I hack into this, I don't have to worry about it. This home system. Thank you. Oh, thank God. User profile updated. Now it maybe it won't worry about me. Locked doors. I agree. Let's keep the world away. Open wall panels. Ooh. This is like my smart home system. Nice. I sounded different. I cannot speak for you folks, but terrifying memories. Toggle curtains, lights, and hire cleaning services. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna hire the cleaning services. Does this suit the mood? Oh, I like the music. Okay. Hire cleaning service. I'm sure they'll be happy to comply. There. Okay. Everything is exposed now. Your settings have been saved. Although maybe I shouldn't be ordering a cleaning service with me inside the building, right? That's a little risky. But I want the dead body to be discovered. Okay. Order confirmation. Oh, hold up, I gotta turn that off. Shut up, Eliza. Hello again. Another order already, John? All right, man, we're just as happy you like, or we're just happy you like the stuff so much. Someone will take care of your apartment as soon as possible. Don't worry about sticking around, we know how to get in. I suggest you go for a walk. Take care of anything you need to take care of. Once you get back, you'll find your package on the bed. Hell, we'll even clean the place for you just to keep up appearances. Sickness. P.S. You're coming to the Neon Rave, right? I'll slip you an extra keycard in case you want to bring someone. Ooh. 
Business card Swan. Services located somewhere. I want the extra key card. My god, John, what happened last night? I mean, I've heard of bad neon trips before. People that see pitch black instead of color, but nothing like what happened to that augmented girl. I haven't seen one of them react that way to something since. I don't know the incident. Any idea who she was? Please tell me you got rid of the body. If not, maybe call that secret service of yours. They're supposed to be cleaners, right? Oh, the swan folk. Another order already, John? Jeez. I thought that was going to be talking about the neon stuff. Huh. Okay, friends or enemies? Bon Bon? Hey, we went to her place once. A black bird in a courtyard whispered something funny to me yesterday. It said you're quite the rainbow pisser. Funny, I've, read, I've never been invited to one of your parties. Even funnier that we've never met. My people are the only ones authorized by the Diwali to distribute neon in this city. If you're buying from someone else, I need to know who, and I need to know where. Either I find out who's been dealing behind my back, or you'll be pissing worse than rainbows. Bon Bon. Jeez, Bon Bon, you're so hostile. Alright, what is this? Rumor has it that Bon Bon and her gang have been sniffing around for both of us. If she contacts you, I don't want you to get scared. Remember, we're the ones with someone on the inside. We're the ones who control Neon, and we're the ones who deserve to get rich. It's important that we look out for each other. If you need anything, you know how to get in touch. Cygnus. Okay, so fucking whoever this guy was? He was obviously sketchy. John Dubuik? Jeez. Oh, hey, look, we got fucking heart lights. Yeah, if you want to set the mood. I guess these are the kind of lights you want to turn on. So the cleaners, he ordered the cleaners, but they never came around here. Ah, hello. Got me some money and what looks like a business card that I can't take myself. All right. What is the point of this? This looks nice, but is it actually affect your room? It's, it's it's one of those like pretentious things. I've got the fireplace locked up behind glass. It doesn't actually warm up the place. It just makes it look nicer. And isn't that the point of having a nice apartment? Having it look nice so you can brag to your friends? <laughs> I wouldn't disagree with that point though. Alright. So now that we've turned off the goddamn AI, I don't have to sit here and rush around. So I wonder if the cleaning services I ordered were the sickness folk? And polarize the dialogue on both sides of the issue. We will be watching the UN closely for any Or if they are actually a legitimate apartment cleaning service. Because I think he needs that. He needs an apartment cleaning service. Oh shit, what? Oh, there's a drawer here. Just chilling out on the wall. Oh, that's cool. One of those wall drawers. I like when furniture is integrated with the actual uh, architecture itself. That's cool stuff. You know, the, the beds that can like roll out from the walls, that kind of stuff. That's cool. So you wake up and if you want more space in your room, you just push your bed into the wall. It's obviously something that's very costly, but whatever. So is that it? Okay, I'll be honest, I dicked around and like shot a bunch of cops in Deus Ex, not in real life, and I remember getting a pocket secretary in here, and I was like, huh, I need to get that pocket secretary when I continue playing the game. And I don't know if I'm tripping balls or what. Also, this is funny. <laughs> he stuffed the fucking guitar into the bear's mouth. Jeez, man, you're fucking wild. Here we go. The pocket secretary that I was trying to find was in the bathroom. All right, Novi Neon from Katarina Wenzel. Neon rave? I hope last night isn't getting you down. Seriously, the kid was augmented when we tried to warn her. It's her own fault for not listening. So let's move on and focus on tonight. Someone said something about a neon rave behind Ludwig Courtyard. Apparently you need a key card to get in? How do I get one? Why are these parties such a secret? Why are you holding out on me, Katarina? P.S. You should get your apartment cleaned. It's gross. It is really gross, man. I mean, fucking the trash inside, like who? It's one thing, okay, fine. Trash bags inside the tub, even though you could have stuck it in the corner over here. 
But then you put a fucking chair in your shower? Do you sit in the chair while taking a shower? He's got like... A... Ripped bag thing here. Maybe he takes drugs while in the shower. And he keeps himself hidden in the back there. That's really creepy, man. Alright. Well, I found the pocket secretary. I'm gonna give this place another one over. To see if I can find any kind of secret key card. I doubt I really need it to get into that party, but it would be nice if I could find something. You should get rid of that. It's highly recommended. <laughs> the AI tells me to get rid of the body. That's funny. That's really funny. All right, I just wanted to move her to see if maybe the key card was on her. Or like underneath her. This place is so filthy, I don't know where to find the key card. If it's even in here. I just figured that if he has an extra key card to a party, he probably bolted with the first one and left the second one somewhere hidden in here. But I might be completely wrong, or this is the key card and I just can't grab it because I'm not supposed to. Hard to tell, really. But I'm not seeing any other white pickups show up. And so that's a pretty big thing, in fact, actually, mentioning pickups. Alright. I'm gonna look through this entire place with the pickup outlines to absolutely confirm that I've looked past everything I could. Like, here's this archive box. Can't do anything with that, okay. Trash can doesn't have it. This is helpful in the way that I can go, oh yeah, look at that, I can pick that up, throw it around. Found nothing. And there still really isn't anything. Wait. What is this? Why does he have a fucking sofa on this bed? Or on this table? What the fuck? And apparently he, t like, TP'd his own place. This guy's a party animal. A gross party animal. And there's blood around this place, so I guess this is where things went down. Huh. Ugh. Ah, at least I can- whoop, that's not what I wanted. At least I can sell his beer. I just have to fucking grab it. I now figured out how to get the rest of the beer. You have to... Stop jumping that high, Jensen! There. You have to be at an angle above the beer in order to grab the rest of it. Like, I can't grab it like this. You can grab one, like this. The others are technically out of sight unless you get an angle. I just saw one of the angles. And the best way to get the fucking above angle is to just drop down on top of it like this. There we go. Yay! Now I can sell this stuff for, like, probably nothing. Or I can keep it. But I have a lot of alcohol. It's starting to add up. It is nice to have all this extra health option, though. Oh, hey, credit chip. <laughs> I missed a little bit of money from this place. Just a tiny smidge. Oh, I never checked out these cabinets. Yay, I've got more beer for me to sell. Oh, hello. Apparently I never hacked this. Director James Miller. Oh. Oh, no, I'm in my boss's apartment? Well, I mean, while I'm here, I might as well check it out. <laughs> He likes his alcohol. That's one thing we can conf confirm. <laughs> All right, Miller. What do we got going on inside your place? You have got a lot of protection. Oh, shit. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. All right, we have 30 seconds to hack my way to the place. We'll be good. I just want to make sure I got everything locked down. There we go. Access granted. Thank you for the 500 XP. Holy shit. All right. Lawyer. From Colleen White to Jay Miller. I know you don't I know you don't want to hear from me again, 
so soon after the call, but the way it finished left me feeling like crap. Leonard told me to leave you alone, but that whole guy thing is bullshit. Honestly, it's just like dad all over again. Why won't you talk to someone to give yourself a bit of room in your own head? It's obvious the Neil thing is really getting to you, and using your work to take your mind off of it isn't healthy. I know you'll just ignore me like always, but if you're not comfortable with family, then you should talk with a professional and at least blow off some steam at someone who's paid to hear it. Anyway, I'm backing off. Leonard thinks he's found a good lawyer who understands augmentation law better than he does, or than he does. So he's gonna move. Uh, he's gonna forward contact details to you directly. I just hope this doesn't cause more problems than it solves. I hate this, James. I hate feeling bad for you. Please take care of yourself and think about what I said. Kali, Kali, X X X. All right, Kali. So what the hell's going on here? Hey, Jim. Some of the guys from Troop Six have been talking about getting together. Maybe organizing a road trip through the outback around Christmas. Might help Jaden clear his head for a bit. I take it you heard what happened to him? He was stationed in Brisbane, working alongside Bell Tower in 27 when it happened. It wasn't pretty. Anyway, I get it if you're not able to come. Dom says you're still in the thick of it, running some kind of elite force up in Germany or Czech Republic or someplace. But it could be a chance to dust off that long sword of yours. Prove you're still the old eagle eyes we all knew. Let me know. Let me know. CB. Charles Bennett. Huh, working along Bell Tower? Aren't Bell Tower the bad guys from the last game? Uh-oh. James Miller. Are you working with Bell Tower? Oh, well that actually answers some questions here. Okay, he's getting a divorce with somebody named Neil Mayhew Smith? Okay, oh! Oh, shit! There you go! That answers everything! I didn't realize which apartment we were in. That's James Miller, my boss, with his former husband, Neil, and their kids. And I guess they, well, they got divorced off, or they're getting a divorce, obviously. They're getting their lawyers to talk and all that stuff. But that would explain how come this place is not really kid friendly. Because it's not really the place he's living with his kid. Or possibly even his husband. It's just his workplace. Got you. All right. We pieced together the story. I missed all this shit down here because of the vent that led me over to the restricted room. All right. Well, we have some information about James Miller if we ever want to talk to him and be like, I heard about your marriage. I'm sorry for your loss. But not every guy is up for it. Sometimes you just gotta keep fishing. I should have stayed in bed. This is a bad time. A culture of fear has gripped Prague. Yeah, and yet you're sitting here in the street playing Deus Ex? Deus Ex, what? Does that say Mankind Divided? Human... Defense? Defiance? It's hard to tell what it's emotion. People have really bought into this us versus them mentality. I like these people who are, sh like... Who know who vypadá na straně. Musí to pro tebe být těžký. Tohle město nebylo nikdy přívětivý, ale teď nechápu, jak to zvládáš. Aren't you the guy? The guy that we just snooped around in? John Dubnik? He had glasses and I think a scarf. Hold up. Oh no, I can't check it out because the cops are there. No coppers. Guys, you can leave now. It's not like you can get through the front door anyways, because I locked it! Welcome home. The cleaning service confirms that your order has been placed. I will let them in when they come. Good, 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 good. So that is him! John Dubnik! The guy with glasses and a red scarf who looks incredibly pretentious, but yet is really, really nice <laughs> down there. He killed a girl! Oh shit. 
We know details, man. We know details. All right. Before I continue on my exploration of this place, I just want to sell a couple of things. Hi, Mr. Machine. You want to look? I want to sell. I do like Mr. Machine. That's actually the least offensive thing you could have called me. Because it sounds cool. Mr. Machine. Eh. Eh, the only problem is you you said it because you're, <laughs> you have problems with us. Okay. How much money can I get from all of this? Not a lot. We got about like 200, 300. Which, to be fair, considering how plentiful alcohol is, that's that that's fine. We don't I didn't expect to get like a thousand bucks for selling everybody else's alcohol. I still have to decide my playstyle. I keep on mentioning it, but we haven't really progressed that far in the story. Make up your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shut up. I still have stuff to you. It's business. But in terms of the story, we're only like four missions into. Wow, really? Did oh, it counted the the first mission as one, obviously, but it also counted waking up. Morning comes too soon and getting in top shape. So when we met up with Collar, that counted as a mission as well. Huh. I always considered the fact that we haven't done the second mission. But I was wrong. Okay. Well, let's get out of here now that we've done a little bit of exploration. I'm not going to punch that wall because we've already been to the house slash apartment that's uh, part of. Now, how do I get... Up there. Oh. Hey! That's a pretty direct method. And then here's a ladder. I don't know what that's access to. Oh, shit. Oh, this goes a lot further than I thought it was going to. Hey, hey, hey! Dude, exploring Prague has been... Some kind of adventure. Look at all the shit that we're finding. Just from wa randomly walking around and looking out for places. Okay, well, my curiosity is currently telling me to head over to this apartment up top. Whoop, whoop, Jesus. I'm assuming that it's a part of the tube house. Damn it. Oh, no, no, we've been through that vent before. That's why it's open. Here we go. Is this what I was looking for? Oh, no. Not just yet. I can't just enter the room with the code we got from Tube House. The fuck happened here? Something impacted this inwards. And I'm afraid to know what the hell did that. I wonder if I can go up there. Let me put the garbage can up. Jump on top of it. And maybe reach high. No, nope, I can't climb. Okay. Well, we'll just hack this door. It's easy peasy. Quick save. What do we got? We got another twofer. Ugh. Granted. Thank you. Did I not hack everything? It didn't give me an XP bonus. I guess it doesn't matter for that one. It's only a level one or two thing. That horrible day two years ago. That horrible day two years ago. In case you forgot, when millions of people with robot arms beat the shit out of everybody. And we all hate each other because of it. Don't forget about that. If you did, that might allow you to forgive people. We can't have that in our society. Oh, hey, multi-tool. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if this is a purposeful blurring thing, but that's kind of interesting. Alright. Whose place is this? Oleg Drago. Oleg Drago. That sounds like a criminal element. 
What is going on with you, Oleg? Anomaly. Oh, Jesus. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Okay, I got a couple of credits for that. Mr. Drago. The tests have come back negative, and as far as I'm concerned, this eliminates all other explanations. It is my formal diagnosis that your headaches are caused by your neural augmentation. This is potentially very serious, but not something I can treat. My advice is to approach an authorized augmentation specialist through one of your main or one of the main Prague hospitals and have it fully scanned, even though they will be required to register your augmentation. Please let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Oh shit. This guy has a hidden augmentation. Mr. Drago, I'm pleased to inform you that the security checks on your new account have now cleared. This, of course, means access to your VIP services, including one of uh, use of the vault assigned to your account. We'll be ready within three business days. In the meantime, you can bring in your biometric identification on the data, st uh, data stick we provided and present it to me in person so that we may present you with your client access card. I look forward to, you to finally meeting you in person. Yours faithfully, Thomas Romanek, the Palestine Property Bank. Ooh. All right, Oleg. Sorry to hear you're not feeling great, but thumbs up for private medical at least. Just wanted to give you a heads up before you come in tomorrow that we have a new mandate to liquidate all of our client stocks, or stock in Condell Securities by the end of the week. Their board just learned that they still sell insurance to insurance OGS and it's causing ripples. Surprise, surprise. Dirty Honda's even depressing the markets for God's sake. Hope you're better tomorrow, buddy. Ooh, boy. So... <laughs> So this guy is hiding out as an Og. Nobody knows. Not even some close friends. It's fucked up, man. All right. With that said, I want to check out a couple of places. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a little bit of damage. Because I cannot just straight up melee. Whoa, the fucking quick select wheel is ridiculous. All right. I'm just looking to use normal ammo. Oh, this is the stun gun. Here we go. 